Hi guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from websofttutorials.com. In this video, guys, we'll talk about jQuery not selector. So, firstly, guys, I'll make some h2 tags. Alright, this is first. This is first s2 tag, and uh, I'll copy it and I'll paste it four times. Alright, this is second s2 tag. This is third s2 tag. This is fourth s2 tag, and this is fifth h2 tag so firstly guys I'll open it in browser now you can see this is first h2 tag second third third fourth fifth as I want to apply jQuery to all h2 tag but not on this one second h2 tag or not on third h2 tag now in this case we will use jQuery not selector it means it will select uh, it will select all h2 tags but not this one or this one or this one depends upon your requirements means which select which s2 element you don't want to select or you don't want to apply jquery to that s2 tag so i will write dollar sign so firstly i will select all the, all the s2 tag now then i will show the difference how to use not selector so i give it time of 2 seconds s2 dot fade out means it will select all s2 tags if i'll refresh it now you will see but guys I don't wanna select this s2 tag who is at second position so in this case I will use firstly guys there are two ways to do this firstly I'll give it a class I will write I'll give it the name of no the class name is no now s2 I will write colon not then two brackets in between these two brackets I'll write s2 dot no means select all s2 tags but not that h2 tag who has a class name of no means it has a class name of no then it will not select this s2 tag who has a class name of no if i refresh now you'll see the result so second s2 tag has class name of no now it is that's why it is not selected this one so in this way in this way we can also give this class to any other h2 tag now it will not fade out this fourth h2 tag because it has a class name of no so if i will refresh now you see the result guys uh, the second way is we can use jquery um, we can use jquery eq selector which were we were using in two three tutorials back so firstly i will remove this class now i will write uh, firstly i will remove it dot no so i will write s2 colon eq means index then two brackets now type the uh, index of that s2 tag so if i write zero then it will not fade out first s2 tag because it starts with index zero so this has index zero one two three four so i will type zero s2 colon eq and then brackets zero if I refresh now you will see it is not hiding first s2 tag so in this in the same way if I write one then it will not hide this second s2 tag because it has index one so in the same way if I'll write three it will not hide fourth s2 tag because it has index of four like zero one two three four so guys this was about jQuery not selector you can use jQuery not selector in many different ways it depends upon your requirement so guys after that after learning this you you can understand how much this jQuery not selector is important guys if you have any question in your mind then you can leave a comment below so thanks for watching this video guys don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos let's see you in the next tutorial